hello everyone welcome back welcome back welcome back um i just want to say thank you to everyone that will be watching this video in advance i have been mia it feels like it's been a month but i don't know if it's been three weeks or a month life has been lifing on my end been so much going on and it's just been a lot uh, to sum it up, one of my kids has been in the hospital. It's been a three-week process for him going on four weeks next week. But I can't remember the last time I did a switch out Saturday. If it was like that Saturday before everything happened or when. So all my days are running together. Everything's all over the place. <laughs> but life has been lifing. Thank you to everyone that has been sending prayers and just checking in on me and him and the family as a whole. Um, I just went back to work this week, but it's like I'm at work, but I'm not at work because then I'm still uh, like calling doctors, making appointments, doing follow ups with the nurses calling, um, running him back and forth to stuff. So it's been a lot going on and it's just been a lot going on. <laughs> So this here is the bag that I have been in ever since my last video that you saw. It's the bag I moved into after the last bag that I carried, which I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, y'all, life has been lifing. So uh, he is home from the hospital now, but we are nowhere near 100% of how we were before the hospital. And so to say all that is... I'm real blessed that he's back home, but it's like knowing that he's not 100% how he was before all this took place. It's like it, it hits you hard. And when it's one of your kids, it's like it hits you even harder. Like you just, you know, you're not okay till your kids are okay. And then even after that, it's like you still paranoid. Okay, like, let me go check. Let me go do this. Let me make sure. Let me, you know, it's like you constantly going. So... <laughs> Um, that's, that's what's been going on on my end. So in between time, whether it's when he was asleep or when I was just taking a risk for me, then I was still trying to watch YouTube just to take my mind off of stuff and to keep my mind occupied to, you know, <laughs> just trying to keep me going. So I have been trying to stay up to date on watching you all's videos, whether it was hauls, what's in my bags, uh, vlogs, what have you, live streams and stuff. So I have been doing the thumbs up. I have not been doing the comments, but I have been seeing the videos. I've watched all the drops that have come and all the hauls. I have watched reviews on bags. I have watched just vlogs on um, lifestyle vlogs. So I have been trying to just watch stuff just to keep my mind going and, you know, just to you know, just to keep me going. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I have done some shopping cause you know, when you're sitting in the hospital in between people coming in the room and you still trying to, you know, take your mind off of stuff. I thought that was him calling for me. So I have scrolled and, um, so I have some, of course, some unboxings coming for you all. I don't know when I will get to unbox them because it's one of those things where, say I could be sitting in the hospital one minute, scrolling, things are fine, and then scroll and make a purchase. Then, you know, it comes, it just, you know, I'm at the hospital, so when the stuff's getting delivered, we'll just put it in my room. <laughs> so I've been coming home for, I say, come home to shower, get a change of clothes, then go back. And then once he got released from the hospital, then it's like being the nurse at home for your son and then running to appointments, calling doctors to make appointments setting up therapy and stuff like that so in between i have managed to still do some shopping because what better therapy than retail therapy <laughs> so i will have some stuff coming eventually but as of right now i can tell you i have at least five boxes that are here i have not opened and some of them were purchased before all this happened some have purchased in between and then the other ones um like I just ordered something this morning, sitting here making appointments and while I'm on hold, I'm scrolling. And then I was like, you know, shopping, it perks me up a little bit. But then talk to him, trying to take him out to lunch or take his mind, you know, to get him 
back to himself. And then we'll, you know, just at this point, whatever to make <laughs> the time less stressful, no matter what I was doing. So I will eventually at some point before the end of 2023, hopefully get to all this for you all. But as of right now, this is the bag that has definitely held it down and been rocking with me from before the hospital stay, during the hospital stay and after the hospital stay. So this is the brand Caval Conti, an Italian leather brand that I purchased from, I believe it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I believe, um, I'm drawing a mind blank. Um, see y'all, this is hack. <laughs> it's like I have so many things going in my head. I'm trying to recall, I can see her face right now. Oh, uh, it'll come to me. But she has a bag or two from this brand. And when her names come, when her name comes to me, I will pop her channel. She's always talking about the Ducks Nest, Ducks Den. If you are a Dooney lover, you have seen her channel. I'm really drawing a mind blank right now. <laughs> but this is the brand Cavalcanti. And the best way I can describe this is Florentine leather. It truly feels like all my Florentine bags, specifically like my steel blue Florentine medium Russell. It's soft, squishy like that, but the leather durability, I would say Florentine leather is the best way I can describe how this feels, looks, smells, and everything. Um, same type deal where you can scratch it and you know you have to rub it out or whatever, but this bag here, I will make the disclaimer, it gets heavy the more you add into it, like with any other bag. So, nothing new, but <laughs> I've had her stuffed, and I'm attempt to move out of her, probably will need a tote, because between appointments and getting doctor papers and uh, supplies and stuff like that, you know, everything ends up in here. Then, plus my daily stuff that I carry with me. So, in here... I will get to, but little features. I have a, it wasn't an unboxing because I remember I ordered it online and it was, I want to say it was TJ Maxx, but it comes in a bag when it arrived. So I do have that video. Um, It's still uploaded on my channel. So maybe a year or so ago is when I purchased it. So here's the brand stamp right there, Cavalcanti. And it says made in Italy with love. And when y'all, when I tell y'all Florentine, that is the best way I can describe this. <laughs> so, and I remember when I got the bag, I was kind of duped that the handles did not stand straight up. But y'all, I much prefer that for my handles to be able to move. So, the fact that she's broken in now, they definitely lay down. So, I love it that way. So, I'm so glad I didn't return her because of that. Because I'm like, okay, well, after wear and tear and usage, they're going to go down anyway. <laughs> so, Love it. Definitely broken in. It's like that rustic looking broken in style. Love it. And it's close to a natural Florentine color. And like that burnished look. See that? So I do have wear and tear on her. Like I say, it's at least been a month that I've been in her. The stitching on her. And you can see how thick the leather is just from the way this is. And the stitching is on the inside as well. And there, and y'all, it's just a beautiful bag. I love it. Absolutely love it. And you probably see different styles from this brand in TJ Maxx and Marshalls, because it is um, where I typically see it at, in Cavalcanti. C-A-V-A-L-E. C A V A L C A N T I. So, um, she comes with a pocket. So, this can either be the front of your purse or this to get inside. You unlock it that way and it takes you to your zipper compartment. Or, if you want that to be the back of your bag, this would be considered the front and you have a pocket under here. You have that red interior lining like you have in a Dooney and Burke bag. And this, uh, 
I have receipts, whether it was from ordering him food <laughs> or something from the hospital, a hair tie, uh, and that's it. Various stuff has been thrown in there, whether it's candy wrappers and stuff, but I took that part out. So it's a very nice size pocket. My phone, I don't believe I had my phone here because most time it was in my hand, but my work phone fits in here. Um, so you have that little flap there and it also has the stitching on it. The handles, y'all, as you can see, this is how they're attached, kind of like the camera calls it, like the handles on the Russell, but you know you have some of the bags where the handles are like that. So that's essentially how it, how it is. But now they're broken in. Stitching on there is also on the handles. They're like those roll handles, but y'all, these, these work. I can get the bag on my shoulder right here. It's a tight fit, but if I needed to, because I was helping him, I could. For the most part, you can carry it that way. You do get a shoulder or crossbody strap. It is detachable. I kept it on here just because I didn't know if I would be pushing or pulling him, helping him walk or whatever <laughs> case is. So this stayed on the bag. It is, it's a silver, silver hardware. Look at, like it has gold, gold tints in it, but it's because of the sun. <laughs> you can adjust it just from this, just sliding it that way. But I haven't done anything to the strap because when I got it, it was long enough for me. Okay, I had to run and do something for him real quick. <laughs> so yeah, you can attach it on both sides. But the feature here where you use the turn lock to open it. Zip closure, very thick, thick leather. You can see how thick that is. And it's like a raw finish, the way it feels. And you can see how normally on, well, some pebbled Florentine that I have received. <laughs> this is how the pebbling would look. But on this side, it's more smooth. I do have a scratch here. It's no telling from what. There. The bottom. You do get feet. So now on to the interior. So this is how the strap attached to before. I One over here. Kind of like that dreaded attachment that some people hate. But when it's up against my body, it laid flat. It wasn't like moving from you know <laughs> but y'all this baby is packed i have a little bit of everything in her you get red interior leather trim around the zipper here is the patch that says cavalcanti um, made in italy and it has the like the italian flag colors right there so to start out i have this this here was my change for the snack vending machine in the hospital this thing has been well, well used. Even it's all squishy and dishy now. So these are the Dunian Burt coin cases. This is, I believe, the Persian blue or either French blue. I want to say this one was Persian blue, but it is very close to French blue. Then in this pocket, I have a feminine product here. A... This is that first aid kit that I got from uh, work. I have some sticky notes with doctor's information, a receipt from Target, a gift card to Victoria's Secret, and then a Walmart gift card, and a mint and an empty cough drop wrapper. So I'm just gonna place stuff back in here as I go, because I don't have enough room right here to set everything so then over here on the side well let me pull these papers out for y'all so hospital paperwork um all this here is doctor information <laughs> whether it's referrals um copies of paperwork to take to one doctor then to take to another doctor i have a cd from an mri to take to another doctor so various, various items there. Y'all know this is my favorite 
item from Dooney and Burke. This is the Dooney and Burke Tech Top. And y'all know they have the Florentine versions that we just gonna call it the updated version on the website now because it is not the strap that I like. This is the older version here that I have in pebbled leather, and this is in the color red. But the versions that are on the site now, if it doesn't bother you and you don't care about the strap, then they have these available in Florentine leather. But the strap is this way, and you can't detach it to make it go across to here, which is what I like. <laughs> so I love being able just to grab it out of my purse by this top handle here and the strap like I say I can make this one attach over here like the versions they have now but I prefer this version so I can carry it this way because honestly this piece here which you can use as your wallet which I do it has card slots inside of it and my checkbook my LV agenda um, that I use as my checkbook fits in here but I would not be carrying this this way that's just me and my personal preference I'd rather have it where I can just grab and go which is the way my lifestyle set up <laughs> so in this front piece I normally have whether it's receipts candy or stuff I can just throw in here currently right now I have cough drops and some change that got thrown down in there but cough drops uh I probably threw those in there because I don't know if I was running low until I made it to the store and then in here as you can see my checkbook is right there I have cash um, receipts and my debit cards the card slots back here the way stuff been so like the cash is thrown back there the card slots are back there everything you know whether I'm at the pharmacy picking up meds I took the card out and just threw it down so everything is in here this thing is definitely broken in really, really well. I have spots on it, probably from, I don't know, it could be lotion. I don't know. I have to wipe it off, but it's pebble leather in the color red. And this is the one that I used, what, three months when I had my MCM large red list. I used this as the wallet in there. So I can stay in these forever. And I have them in pretty much almost every color. <laughs> so I love these little things, but... Like I say, the one that's on the website now is in Florentine, and the strap is like this on there. So if you like this size or if you've been waiting on these to come back, they have been on there for a few months now. I think one something, but these right here were like $64 when these used to be available in the pebble leather. So I don't know if the Florentine will ever drop that low, but a lot of these I was able to get between $50 and $64. So... All right, so this is what I used as my wallet. Then to add some pop of color, because I didn't know what accessories I was going to use with this bag, but y'all know I love a Nolita, and this is the Nolita 15. So, of course, this natural colored leather and these pops of colors bought it all together. So this here, it just usual meds, um, my Mentos, gum is in here and y'all keep cough drops on me <laughs> and then I have my what is this a Advil packet and then you know I keep this for my ibuprofen and then I have my Vicks nasal inhaler so I've been using these for medicine pouches, but you know, you can use these for whatever wallet, if you're a small bag person, catch-alls, whatever have you. I've used it for various things, but I love the way it fits my little, what I call my medicine pouch. <laughs> so really cute. Thought that paired really well with this. Then, and that was from the Pride Collection. Have a deodorant, these small, uh, champagne toast from Bath and Body. We have a bigger bag of cough drops that's about empty. And that's the Equate brand from Walmart. Then, let me see. We have, this is how the bag is looking. I'm just going to show you. Well, let me take out. I have a card here with my ID information. But y'all, when I tell you, I've been living in the bag. So this is what the bottom looks like. <laughs> so this here... Oh, this is something they were giving out trying to get you to apply for a gas card. 
This here is the pride wristlet, the corner zip. I don't even remember what I had in here. Um, oh, I had some larger band-aids in here. I have that famous Dollar Tree flashlight. I have my floss pickers there. I have my small, uh, what do you call that? Um, fingernail file. And then I have a small thing from the dentist of dental floss. So these little corner zip wristlets, if you don't buy nothing else from a drop, if you get one of these in the solid colors or whatever color, you can always use these for something really functional. So this again came from the product collection and I got it when I got the Nolita. And of course, you know, with all these colors, all these colors I can use and I can actually use this in my orange um, Coach Cassie 19 that I showed you all for my I think I called it my last summer haul or whatever and I had the Brahmin and that orange Cassie so this here will go great in that orange Cassie it's called Sun Orange I believe so I could totally use that in there with the Nolita <laughs> and then this here is also from the Pride Collection this here is the coin case and in it I just have my tech stuff which is probably thrown around in my purse because the only thing in here now is a tie that I was using to wrap the cords with so this is one of the coin purses, again from the prior collection. Then we have a new pack of gum because the other one is getting old. Of course, I said um, I was at the hospital, so I'm lysawing myself before I walked in the room. And then when I walked out, <laughs> um, just a little portable one from, I think this came from Target. These are, it's empty, my Mentos, the little Slim Pack I told you all about, and it's empty now, so I thought I had another one, but a backup deodorant, a loose pin, here's the earbuds that go in my tech pouch. I was tearing up paper, so I have a headband in here, but the papers I was tearing up are right here. <laughs> here is the pack of gum that is almost empty. So that's why I have that back up in there. Other paper, slime penny. Here's some Purell, the single sanitizer wipes that I need to buy another pack of those. This is the strawberry and cream Tic Tacs. I believe I grabbed these from Walmart. And it was the big pack that has the 200 in there. And it is a little fat, little small case, but I figure for 200, you know, versus buying the little small packs. And this is a Target bag. I don't know what I probably picked up and had in there. I have a champagne toast, um, bath and body hand cream, another loose pin, then everything else, I can just get it all out, is just wrappers. When I tell y'all I've been living in here, I've been living in this bag. She has definitely held me down. I am glad I have her. I'm glad I used her. And the fact I was able to kill her for a month speaks volumes. <laughs> so on this side, you do get two pockets. I packed an extra thing of medication to take at the hospital because in the beginning, I didn't know if I was going to be able to come home or not. So I said, well, I'd rather have backup meds for me, for my allergy and asthma stuff, than to not have them because once it flares up, it's a wrap. And I didn't want both of us to be in the hospital. <laughs> so... Uh, that was in that pocket. Then I had some mascara, my shea butter lotion, uh, my flossers, a receipt from, look like Chick-fil-A. And this is the visitor pass that they give you at the hospital to stick on your shirt. Over here, I have my champagne toast, which as you can see is about flat. So this scent has been working out really well so far for me. I have two pencils because I took a crossword puzzle book to work on, a pen because I had that for my crossword puzzle book, highlighter, 
um, sticky notes when the nurses would come in. I wrote down everybody's name. When the CNA came in, I wrote down her name. Every doctor came in. I took all my notes and I actually had my LV MM agenda and I have some blank sheets in there and I was using that to take notes. So I wrote down everything. I have notes on my phone. Another backup pack of gum because, you know, chewing gum is like it calms my nerves sometimes. So. <laughs> Had my eye drops to re-wet my contacts because of course sleeping waking up looking all crazy and i said well, i don't know if my <laughs> contacts is gonna be right this is a card for one of the doctors that we saw this is a receipt from a gas station so basically with this bag you get two slip pockets and a zip pocket there is the creed and let me bring you in have a content there's the little italian flag i was speaking of this bag has been amazing when i tell you i love the broken in type feel of a bag that is how i can best explain this now after carrying it for a month she is well loved look how soft she is i love her but out of all my florentine bags i would say this one feels close to the Steel blue, medium rustle, how I always said it felt like it was a different type of Florentine because I could squish that bag together and it is a medium rustle. And the bag, it just felt amazing. And scratches and all that, I think that's the only scratch that I can notice, notably see, y'all know what I can't even get it, <laughs> that I could obviously see. <laughs> that's a little deeper than the other ones but y'all this bag has been nice i don't know if i can condition this bag or not because i don't condition any of my florentine bags but on this side here she does have more wear than the other side so i guess i was carrying this side closer to me but definitely love it zips close has the turn lock extra added feature to put over the top there the two handles detachable shoulder strap hidden pocket great bag and again tj maxx and marshall's you will see cavalcanti brand in there it is true italian leather i love it and definitely love it and i'm trying to think if there's anything else i need to tell you about the bag military mom that's the name i knew it had mom in it and i kept see, i can see her face talking to me right now about the duck's nest <laughs> and the duck's den and all that Military Mom, she has a bag or two from Cavalcanti brand as well. And I believe hers is in the same color. So I definitely love it. And her review of her bag was very helpful for me from the way she talked about it. And I said, okay, well, this must be what she's talking about. So I remember when I saw this, I was like, that's that brand. And I love it. I recommend it. But again, this one, it will have weight to it because it is thick, a thick cut of leather. And the more you put in it, of course, with any bag, the heavier it will get. But I had a lot in mind. I've been in it for a month. I didn't start out with all this. I added what I needed as the days went on. Papers got added. So, yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, I definitely love the bag. And I, I truly do love the bag. So, just wanted to come on. And again, thank you to everyone that is new to my channel. And I'm sorry I have not posted a video in a while. But like I say... Um, as Mo kept telling me, life has been lifing. <laughs> so I do have a few, several unboxings. Cause like I say, some stuff I was shopping and then when everything hit, that all just took the back burner and it's just sitting all together, piled up in my closet. And so I have acquired them, which is great. They're here. I know I have them just have not got around to opening them so therefore I have not carried them either but some of them you have seen on YouTube from other channels so they're not new to YouTube they're just new to me but I will share them with you all so like I say just give me time on getting that but and then also you know October's coming up and I definitely was trying to make my way back because you know I do the we'll say pink for DJ King this year um, sharing my pink bag, whether it's pink accessories, pink clothes, pink anything for Breast Cancer Awareness Month for the month of October. So that little series, you will see different pink bags that I carry. And then some of my YouTube subbies and friends, they all take part in it too. And so they share their pink bags. And 
it's a whole experience because you would be surprised at how much pink stuff people have and you don't realize it until you start piecing it together. And it could be something as simple. You don't have a pink bag, but you have pink accessories to put in your bag, whether it's a lotion, wristlet, something. <laughs> so that would definitely be coming in October as well. So to anyone that wants to join in on that, please do. I welcome everyone. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.